Hey, so this is Taylor with Major Outdoors. I like did like, you know, I unboxed it and everything, and then I figured out I had my girl pro on photo. So, uh, oh well. But, so this is the Bass Boat Technologies dual front mount. It's right here. It's all like galvanized, which I like. Um, I did do the console one. I am not sponsored by them at all. I just have heard good things about them over some of my buddies who run their mounts. So this plate, stalling it, here we go. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I don't know if I'll use this. Um, with the nitros, you have a place to bring your cables out right here. I guess that might be a little too shallow. I don't know. The Garmin's fine, for sure. Garmin, I got enough uh, length, but I might have to drill this hole out a little bit just so I can get um, my bird hooked up. So, see how I do. So I went to get my hole dozer set to check the hole. This hole is an inch and a quarter hole. You can see that, might be a little too blurry, or a 32 millimeter hole for that rubber gasketing. And I assume you could, you know, you could make it smaller if you don't need that much. I gotta think about that for a second. So, just by the way, the hole is an inch and a quarter or 32 mils, okay. So, I don't know why, but I only got six screws, but I got eight dust caps. There is eight holes on the perimeter, three, three plus two, so there's eight. So I'm gonna use the original um, it looks like a sheetrock flat screw to me, machine grade. And I'm going to use these in this hole and this hole up here in the middle. And the reason I'm going to do that is because those will be covered the most when I have the plate on with the graphs. The graphs won't, these, these screws won't see water much because if you look at this side, they're fairly covered underneath. So you can't even, it's, it's right here. And then the other one's up over here. So yeah, I think that's my idea right now. Hey, so I kind of ran into a problem. <clears throat> None of these holes line up. I mean, I can get one, but then it gets pretty close to this button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill my own holes into the boat, which I really don't want to do. I don't really want to drill new holes into the plate because the plate's too strong, I think. So I'm just going to line it up, and I'm going to just, you know, drill new holes into the fiberglass, which I don't love that idea either, but... I think that's really like my only option to be honest. So I'm just gonna hold the plate. Um, this is a 3 16 bit, by the way. So. Okay, so <clears throat> I got the first one set. Just uh, look at this big metal shred because there's a metal plate underneath, I guess. Every boat besides Skeeter and Ranger don't have preset patterns, so you have to drill your own holes. If that includes Phoenix, Tritons, Nitros, like most brands. So I'm having to go drill out my own holes. I'm just going to tap this one in. First, I'm going to do the four corners, and then I'll do the other holes. Um, I don't think I'm going to do this hole when well, I'm thinking about it now. I don't think I'm gonna do this one because that'll just go into all my wiring. I don't really care that to be there. It won't really hold besides against the metal. Then once I get the four, I'm gonna pull that, I think, too. So here we go. Another day of Jimmy rigging everything, right? So again. This happened the second time when I did the console mount. Looks like I'm missing one screw, so I'm gonna have to go get another one of these. I do have extra dust caps, so it's fine. Um, now I'm gonna take my drill, I'm gonna get the hole saw going, and I'm gonna do that. You also are gonna have to shoot out these four holes, too. Um, I'm trying to think. You go the same size or not? Because you don't want to take the threads out, but you want to be able to create the hole so they can stick through. Um, so what I'm saying there is... Um, I'm 
basically you want to be able to drill that hole but you don't want to bellow out the threads on accident. So I got my inch and a quarter, bellow out the big boy. So I got the hole, that hole doesn't actually have any metal plate in it, which is kind of convenient because that would have been a pain. I'm going to drill out the same hole I was using earlier um, into those smaller holes where the Allen wrench is going. All right, so I got my whole dozer done. I got these four holes done. Before I do anything, I'm gonna have to take this plate back off, but I wanted to test these to make sure that these Allen, these Allen wrenches hold down the plate. So I just wanna make sure that the thread, like I can get these all the way down in inks. So that's really gonna tighten this thing up. And right now it's pretty tight. I wonder if I can really get this wedged in there. Well, the tighter the better. So now I took the front plate off. I'm going to clean this whole thing up. You have to take the whole plate off. It's going to have to come to. I'm only going to go about that far. Grab that damn puck. Okay, with that being said, I had my wires coming out of my hummingbird and stuff. I'm gonna all feed them through that hole. So that's gonna take me a quick second. So I gotta unpuck the bird unit and everything. So I pulled all these Allen wrenches through. Um, now you can kind of like angle it a little bit if you want. I think I'm just gonna keep it for the most part straight. I'm just tighten those down. That is with a five millimeter Allen wrench. I'm sure you can use a metric, I don't know what the metric is, or the standard. Okay, so got that hooked up. They do give you, I'm just gonna find it, a baggie of lock nuts that are Allen wrenches for the Mounts, this is probably the biggest decision you gotta make. You gotta make if you want Garmin up top or Hummingbird on the bottom. I think I'm gonna do birds on the bottom, Garmin up top, so. Yep, I'll get it all done and then I'll show you guys once I'm done. So I got it all done, I put the brackets on. Um, pretty easy. Remember last time I had the same problem and when I did the console, you really gotta use an Allen wrench on these things and like you almost have to start your own threads in these brackets with these. I really like these though, they look clean and stuff. Um, and then on the bottom, you know, washer and a lock nut. Um, on the Garmin unit, it is a plastic. This is a 93 SV that's gonna run my Panoptics. Um, it is a plastic mount, which I'm fine with. Um, but underneath I could not because it's so big I actually had to bellow out the holes a little bit with the drill bit to be able to get the allen wrenches in there Or the allen Fasteners and then on the bottom. I only put the lock nut. I couldn't get the washers on because the threads were too tight um, Tell me what you think of the setup so far. Do you like the Garmin on top hummingbird on bottom? Would you switch it? What would you change? You can also like angle this bracket if you loosen these keys a little bit you can kind of like tilt it to the side or the inside. I think the only thing is that right now I have it like parallel with the trolling motor. The only thing I might twist it a little bit to the right, just give it a little bit of an angle, but fairly easy construction. Um, you know, obviously the plate is very heavy duty. It's just, you know, aluminum, I think. It's galvanized, so I got it all rigged. I will have to get another screw for this corner. I'm gonna call in and ask him. Um, what size it is so I can get another one to put a dust cap in there just so I can hold it better I kind of thought about putting one of the Screws nitro gives you and just putting it right there and then having it grip to the plastic, but 
Uh, you know, with fiberglass, make sure you pre-drill everything, the whole nine yards, right? Um, other than that, um, please like and subscribe if you like this little tutorial video. Um, you, this is fairly easy to do. I think any one of you people can do it. Um, the hole saw really makes your life easy to get the wires ran through. Other than that, um, Allen wrenches, a 7 sixteenths wrench for the lock nuts. Um, yeah, really easy, I thought. Um, thank you to Bass Boat Technologies for making a product like this. I'm not sponsored by them at all. Again, I just heard good things about them online. Um, happy with the mount so far. It looks like it's going to work really well. So I'll see you guys next time. Go like and follow and subscribe to all my channels at Major Outdoors. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.